Hi everybody, this is Charlize the Nocti Girl here to share my passion for Leica and anything camera related. So last year I published a video providing the history and a brief overview on most of the major Leica M film cameras. If you have not seen that video, I would suggest you to watch that first before watching this one. This video is more of a continuation to that video as I will be talking about major M digital cameras released. With that said, if you want to know the full history from the very beginning of the Leica M system, start with that video first. Leica introduced its first digital rangefinder camera back in 2006. The M8 had the classic design, build, and function of the film M camera series while using a digital imaging process. The Kodak designed 10 megapixel CCD sensor with a slightly unusual 1.33 crop factor was developed specifically for this camera. Apparently, in order to obtain a higher image quality, Leica omitted an anti-aliasing filter in front of the sensor and opted for a minimal infrared blocking filter which caused issues with infrared contamination of images. To resolve this image defect, Infrared or UV filters have to be used when shooting with the M8 to avoid the magenta color cast and for a while Leica was giving away UV and IR filters to owners of this camera. With the M8, Leica introduced a few more firsts in the M series cameras. The M8 had the fastest shutter speed out of all M series cameras at 8 thousandths of a second. 6-bit coding was made available on this camera so that sensors on the camera could read mounted lenses automatically. A new viewfinder magnification standard for digital M bodies at 0.68 was established on this model. Possible frame line pairs are 24 and 35 mm, 50 and 75 mm, and 28 and 90 mm. ISO sensitivity ranges from 160 to 2500. The 2.5 inch LCD screen on the back is only for function settings and image playback. And no, it is not touch screen. In 2008, the M8.2 was released with a few upgrades from the original M8. The maximum shutter speed is now capped at 4 thousandths of a second to reduce shutter noise and place less stress on the mechanism. The frame lines in the viewfinder are now optimized for focus at 2 meters instead of 0.7 meters on the M8. The 2.5 inch LCD screen on the back of the camera is now covered with ultra scratch resistant sapphire crystal glass. The body itself remains unchanged except that the black chrome is now black paint. The red Leica logo in hot shoe on the black paint bodies are made black. One addition that was not so well received was the snapshot or the S mode that was added to the shutter speed dial. This mode essentially tried to turn the M8.2 into a point and shoot camera but was removed in later models. The M9 was announced in 2009 and is regarded as the digital M the M8 should have been. It has an 18.2 megapixel full frame CCD sensor with an upgraded internal IR filter which eliminates the need for external UV or IR filters. The circular battery and shot counter LCD on the top plate is removed. Exposure bracketing is now added as a standard function of digital M series. The Leica logo on the front of the camera returns to its red color. ISO sensitivity ranges from 160 to 2500 on this model. Possible frame line pairs are 35 and 135 mm, 50 and 75 mm, and 28 and 90 mm. Viewfinder magnification remains at 0.68 as was established on the M8. Released in 2011, the M9P was considered to have a bit of the special edition flavor, though it was part of the regular models offered by Leica. Virtually identical to the M9 in every way, the M9P has a body style that is more reminiscent of the MP with different top and bottom plates. The model number and logo are missing from the front of the camera and the top plate now features the Leica engraving. In 2012, Leica announced a game changer at its Das Wiesenliche event in Berlin. The M Monochrome was the first commercial 35mm format black and white only digital camera and it's essentially a black and white only version of the M9P. 
It has no Bayer filter array in front of its 18 megapixel CCD sensor, making it capable of capturing more light with no need for demosaicing. This means higher levels of resolution and detail are now possible. ISO sensitivity ranges from 320 to 10,000 on this camera, with a pulse setting at 160 available at a lower contrast range. Possible frame line pairs on this model are 35 and 135 mm, 50 and 75 mm, and 28 and 90 mm. The monochrome also has no red Leica logo on the front of the camera, though it now has the word monochrome engraved on the hot shoe. At around the same time, Leica also released the ME, E for entry level, Type 220, that is essentially an M9 with less features. It does not have the USB port, the frame line selector lever, and the model number on the front of the camera. New enhancements on this camera are purely cosmetic, including chrome controls and anthracite gray paint. The highly anticipated M10 in 2013 turned out to be called the M. M for milestone, type 240. It represents a radical departure for Leica on many levels, the splash-proof body features a 24-megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor, live view shooting and focus, 1080p full HD video capture, and has a larger 3-inch LCD screen on the back of the camera. The LCD now uses Gorilla Glass made by Corning, which is the same material used on iPhones instead of the sapphire glass on previous M models. The buttons on the camera received a makeover, with a dedicated LV or live view button added to the left of the LCD screen. A brand new thumb dial was also added to the right of the screen, a focus button added on the front of the camera, and the movie button added on the top of the camera. The option of using an external electronic viewfinder, or EVF, is now possible with this model. ISO sensitivity ranges from 200 to 6400 on this camera, with a pulse setting at 100 available at a lower contrast range. Possible frame line pairs are 35 and 135 mm, 50 and 75 mm, and 28 and 90 mm. The MP Type 240 was released in 2014 as a follow up to the M with a few differences. The most notable difference is the upgraded 2GB of buffer memory, which is twice as large as before. The frame line selector lever is brought back on this model, as well as the classic Leica script on the top plate. The red Leica logo and model number are missing on the front of the camera, and the LCD is made of sapphire glass. In April of 2015, the M monochrome Type 246, based on the MP Type 240 model, was announced to the world. Following the P styling, this edition lacked the red Leica logo on the front of the camera. ISO sensitivity ranges from 320 to 12,500 in third increments with the possibility of pushing the ISO to 25,000. A few months later in November of the same year, the M Type 262 was released to replace the ME. Designed to be an entry-level camera, Type 262 lacked features such as live view and video mode. The top plate is engineered from aluminum, which makes the whole camera around 100 grams lighter. The menu function is extremely lean and consists of only two pages. While this model gains a dedicated white balance button on the back, it loses the frame selector lever on the front, and has a smaller red Leica logo on the top. One notable improvement on this camera is a shutter cocking system that is quieter in single exposure mode. In 2016, the MD Type 262 was released using the quieter shutter and brass versions of the aluminum top and bottom plates used on the M Type 262. This model brought back the frame selector lever but ditched the red Leica logo on the front. What sets this camera apart from other digital M's is the complete lack of LCD display and buttons on the back of the camera, replacing everything with an ISO dial similar to the film M bodies. There are no menus, no JPEG or movie mode, and shoots in DNG only. ISO sensitivity ranges from 200 to 6400 in third increments. 
possible frame line pairs are 35 and 135 millimeter, 50 and 75 millimeter, and 28 and 90 millimeter. Viewfinder magnification remains at 0.68 on this model. At this time, you might be wondering, what's up with Leica's naming conventions as they went from M1, M2, M8, M9, to M, ME, MD, Type 240, Type 246, Type 262, etc. Well, apparently, Leica changed up their naming system so that, for instance, when a newer model such as the M10 comes out, M9 owners don't feel like they have the older model and feel compelled to get the new one because the old one isn't good enough anymore. I guess they later changed their mind about that because the model following the MD was the M10 and it was released in 2017. The weather resistant M10 has a 24 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor and a 3 inch scratch resistant Gorilla Glass LCD. Since it ditched video mode, microphone, and speaker, the camera body is leaner and lighter. An ISO dial is added to the top with sensitivity ranging from 100 to 6400, expandable up to 50,000. 2 gigabytes of buffer memory is included and the camera allows 5 frames per second of continuous shooting. Built-in Wi-Fi connectivity is available for wireless sharing and remote control and USB connection port is omitted. The viewfinder now has a magnification factor of 0.73 with possible frame line pairs of 35 and 135 millimeter, 50 and 75 millimeter, and 28 and 90 millimeters. The following year in 2018, the M10P was released without the red Leica logo on the front of the camera. The most notable highlight on this P edition is that the 3 inch Gorilla LCD screen is now touchscreen with swiping and pinch to zoom capabilities. Viewfinder follows the new magnification factor at 0.73. ISO sensitivity ranges from 100 to 6400, expandable up to 50,000. Later that year, the M10D was released. Similar to the MD Type 262 that came before it, the M10D also lacks a rear LCD screen. Something unique on this camera, not featured on any other digital M's, is a dedicated thumb rest designed to pay tribute to the advanced lovers on film cameras. Like the M10 and M10P, the M10D adopts the ISO wheel on the top plate of the camera. The rear rotating dial now activates Wi-Fi connectivity and adjusts exposure compensation. Other than the exposure, ISO, aperture, and shutter speed settings, all other settings must be made on the Leica Photos app. In January of 2020, a black and white only successor to the M Monochrome and the M Monochrome Type 246 was released. The M10 Monochrome features a full frame 40 megapixel CMOS sensor with a 3 inch Gorilla Glass covered touchscreen LCD, 0.73 optical viewfinder, and a dedicated ISO dial on the top plate, just like the M10 and M10P. ISO sensitivity ranges from 160 to 12,500, expandable up to 100,000. Possible frame line pairs are 35 and 135 millimeter, 50 and 75 millimeter, in 28 and 90 millimeters. A few months later in that same year, the M10R was released as basically the color version of the M10 monochrome. It features the 40 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor with the 3 inch Gorilla Glass covered touchscreen LCD. It has the built in Wi Fi, 0.73 viewfinder magnification, 2 gigabytes of buffer memory, and up to 4.5 frames per second of continuous shooting. ISO sensitivity ranges from 100 to 6400, expandable up to 50,000. Possible frame line pairs are 35 and 135 millimeter, 50 and 75 millimeter, and 28 and 90 millimeters. Finally, earlier this year in January, the highly anticipated M11 was announced to the world a year and a half after its predecessor's release. As this edition included quite a few drastic upgrades, 
you can imagine Leica photographers around the world eagerly trying to get their hands on one, though the price point might be out of reach for some. The M11 features a 60 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor with Leica's new triple resolution technology, meaning users have the option of setting the camera to record either 60, 36, or 18 megapixel DNG RAW files. An updated IR and UV filter is used in front of the sensor in combination with a new color filter array that offers more natural color reproduction than previous M system cameras. The 2.95 inch Gorilla Glass covered LCD touchscreen has more than double the resolution than its predecessors at 2.3 million dots. Buffer memory has been increased to 3 gigabytes with an additional 64 gigabytes of internal memory. The traditional removable base plate has been omitted on this model, providing a more direct access to the battery and SD card. A USB-C port has been brought back to the camera, providing users the option of charging with an external power bank. ISO sensitivity ranges from 64 to 6400, expandable up to 50,000. The M11 is the first ever M-series camera to offer an electronic shutter in addition to its traditional mechanical shutter. This allows it to offer a top shutter speed of 16 thousandths of a second in addition to the 4 thousandths of a second speed when using the mechanical shutter. For someone who loves shooting wide open, this is a great option to have. Whew, wow! <laughs> and there you have it! That's most of the major end digital bodies out there, and I haven't even covered any of the special editions. I know it's a lot of information, but I hope this provided a good, relatively quick overview of the Leica Digital M series cameras. Alrighty, I know you've been way knocked up today, and I'm really knocked out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!